Well, hello everyone, and welcome to our first mod showcase of update 1.13. Hope you guys are all having the most wonderful of wonderful days. My name is Leaf, and it's so great to check out what was last posted on the Nexus over the last few weeks, and kind of talk about modding, and kind of talk about where we're going from here. So, before I do get started, I do want to say there's like a few things about this video specifically. Uh, my neighbors are cutting down a tree right now, so if you hear, like that um that's because why you hear it i guess uh they're cutting down a tree um so beyond that uh what else is going on mods didn't really break in update 1.13 i think the only thing that actually broke is swimming and i'll just test something out with that right now uh just so i could show you guys what i'm talking about i'm just gonna plop an american flamingo into this habitat right here and show that off but besides that, prop mods did not break. That is awesome to see. Prop mods are a little bit scared. Well, there's a little bit of stigma regarding prop mods recently where it's like, oh, they're going to break every single update. Uh, the, they're going to break your game files. They really won't now. Like, even like the climbable toggle, like this right over here, that's not going to break prop mods. And it didn't. So that's just really awesome to see. Uh, in terms of animal mods, and if you do see this, please report it on their actual Nexus pages. Uh, some animals may be swimming a bit higher than they usually should. Kind of looks like he's a uh, Jesus flamingo or something like that. But essentially just post that on the bug reports and then I'll get through them. It's kind of how I organize myself really. But in terms of everything else, no other prop mods really broke, no other mods really broke. It's just small stuff like that. So if you have a lot of like semi-aquatic mods, you're probably going to see that issue. But if you're working with like hoofstock where you don't really have water in their habitats, that should be totally fine. So that's honestly really fine right there. So, moving on to the actual mods. Mods are not officially endorsed by Frontier, as I probably should always say. When you do mods, you do mod at, like, the risk of your own game. But listen, I've been seeing a lot of people taking what I say about that and twisting it some way around. It's really not that bad. Like, if you break something, there's always a way to fix it. And that's why I feel like it's super important to let people know. Now, we probably can already see what's happening over here. Uh, so, on April 1st, Nick and I put out a couple of mods that might have tricked the community a little bit. This is the quote-unquote Red River Hog mod. Now, the Red River Hog mod was notorious for not coming out, and I thought, you know what? We're getting one in the official DLC. I might as well kind of just, like, throw this out there with Nick. We could honestly just say, oh, if they think they're going to download the Red River Hog, they're going to get the Minecraft pig. But it works so well, and it works so well to the point where Nick was like, oh, what if I just add, like, Minecraft props to the game? So, this is probably one of my favorite building sets now. Also, the pig works so well. Like, it honestly looks like one of those Minecraft shader packs. Uh, my good friend Annika actually just put out a recent video where she actually made, like, a Minecraft build in Planet Zoo. Look, it was super fun. But regardless, you can see that you have all these wonderful um, uh, Minecraft props over here. And if you just have position snap on... You can do some pretty funky stuff with them. So, in case if you guys do want to build, like, a Minecraft house or something like that, you could easily do that. You can click V to orient the logs very quickly. Or if you don't want to do that, you could do that right there and then just kind of push them around. I don't really know. It's just a super fun pack to play around with. So, of course, you have about 11 blocks. Uh, bedrock, bricks. The bricks texture is a little bit wonky, I've noticed. Uh, I think Nick and I are going to look into that relatively soon. Uh, but there are some flexi color ones. So I think that the leaves are flexi color. So in case if you guys want to do like one of those new cherry trees, you totally can. Uh, the other one that's flexi color is the grass block. So you could kind of have like, you know, pink grass. Uh, you could have it be kind of like the aether mod. So you could have it be like that nice teal color. That's super fun to see right there. But it's just a really fun building pack. If you guys like to have fun, I really do suggest that. Now, that's not the only prop mod that we got this week. We also got one, and I should actually look at the person who released it. Uh, Cisac, C-I-S-A-C. -S uh, so in case if you guys are like a normal vanilla Planet Zoo player, you might have noticed that the Cosmic Cow small sign isn't really that small. 
uh, if you put it next to a person, really, it's about twice the height as a person. And it doesn't really go in line with, like, the rest of the uh, sign small. It doesn't really go in line with the rest of these stupid little things, like the gulpy hats, uh, hot dog squad, all that stuff. Uh, essentially, they just made a tiny version, and it has the same research values as the other signs as well. So you guys can easily get that in your games in case if you guys do want to build with that sign. Really awesome to see that kind of stuff over there. Sorry about the little jump cut, I just had to do a little cough. I'm home from work today because I'm a little sick. Uh, it happens. Yeah, the, it really sucks. Anyways, um, Emerald Tree Monitor. This is one that just came right out of the gates. Mega Gaming Rex got the tropical pack and he instantly went to making this animal. And I could not be happier to have it in the game. Check this stuff out. Now, obviously, it doesn't climb, which these species are mostly known for, which is a little bit of a shame. But it's just so awesome ha to have this animal in the game regardless, because look at that coloration. They're just drop-dead gorgeous. And we also included the other kind of species as a uh, variant for these animals. So if I just find emerald over here, uh, the yellow one over here is also included. Let's just buy a whole bunch so I could get the blue version too. I think I actually need to change out the color morph variables uh, just so you could actually get the blue one easier. Yep, there it is. Okay, awesome. So let's actually push this guy right over here and we could actually see what all these colors look like when they're all together. So I'm just going to delete these pieces right over here so we can check out these guys once they start to come in. They're just so gorgeous. I can't get over them. Uh, let me actually change out the lighting as well to see them in a little bit better of a color. But yeah, there's a yellow one right there. I don't know what species that is. My sincerest apologies. Uh, but he's just a beautiful little guy anyways. The blue one should be right over here too. So I believe this is just the blue tree monitor. Which is just a stellar looking animal. Check that guy out. I really do love the patterning on here. I'm not sure if Mega Game Rex did that himself, but it's just so beautiful. I do love those stripes though. That is so cool. But an amazing job to an amazing person. Uh, moving on from here, another April Fool's one from Giorno. So Giorno recently put out the um, American Black Bear and very much in line with the Cocaine Hippo from last year. Uh, Jordan wanted to do a cocaine bear, very much in line with the movie, too. Uh, so it's just the American black bear with the white nose. Just stupid fun stuff right here. Always happy to see people having a lot more fun with their mods because it's always so happy. Like, it makes me so happy to see that people are m not just modding to have, like, you know, the most realistic animal in the game anymore. No, people are just having fun. Like, look at the stupid Minecraft pigs. Look how well they work. They even have, like, their own little pig sounds, which is great. Okay, Hexabit. Hexabit has released probably one of the most useful, the most gorgeous, and the most essential path packs out there. Probably because it's the only path pack. This has at least, I want to say, 30, 40, I want to say, uh, new paths for Planet Zoo. You can see all of them all throughout here. I probably missed a few in my, like, little thing over here. Like, for example, I don't think I included this one. Just a really solid... Oh, no, I did. Uh, but anyways, so many awesome paths. Uh, we have, like, this kind of playground rubber asphalt, which is super useful for zoos. Uh, you have, like, a little bit of a sandbox one, which is super awesome in case if you guys are making, like, little desert or beach areas. I think that's super awesome for, like, a penguin pool or something. You have these kind of, like, stylized tile ones. He actually added the X pavers before Frontier did, which is super funny. So you could see them compared to each other right over here. I just love how, like, he added them first before Frontier did. I don't know. It's just super funny to be able to see that. Moving on from there, just a whole bunch of different other paths. I really do love, like, this gravel that he added. Especially this, like, dark red one. That one's super awesome for, like, Australian sections. He made a bit more of a finer gravel, which is really awesome. Uh, he actually took the base game, I believe, Rustic Path, 
and darkened it a little bit so it's a little bit more feasible for more tropical areas and stuff like that. It's a really solid texture, but it's like it can always be a better t- color if that makes sense. Honestly, Frontier, if you're listening, take some notes over here because just changing the color of the paths and re releasing them, people will eat that stuff up. I feel like people would instantly flock to you guys for that. But yeah, he also has like these cool new bricks. He has like these dog bones, I believe they're called. Some hexagonal bricks, kind of like how the Bronx Zoo like main area plaza has it. Uh, a little bit more of a finer gravel right here. My kind of like asphalt path replacer. Uh, so the aquatic path replacement, which I don't have installed anymore. Uh, has that stuff right there and he also did like custom because I don't think anyone's really talked about it he also did like custom uh, fences and everything for like all these pieces which is just super awesome to see um and yeah just like look at all these stuff it's just so beautiful custom like stairs and stuff too because if you actually look at the base game planet zoo stairs they really aren't too different like they all kind of look the same except for the top so it's just always like either concrete it's always either asphalt or something i don't really know but probably the most interesting piece over here is the null path now i know you guys are probably saying leaf you already got a null path in the update well look at that all right so those are official well not official they are modded uh but they are null paths without any use of free build or something like that now obviously the null paths can be placed by using the natural paths and if you do want like a little marker on them you could do curb on ground path but up here if you actually do use like the null paths and stuff like that they don't really have a curb which is interesting but do they have a railing no, they don't. I'm going to talk to him about that. I'm going to ask him if he could actually include, like, a railing for those. Just because those organic curves are something I feel like we can never do. But that is super awesome right there. Just finally be able to have, like, elevated null paths. So now you can do, like, glass walkways and stuff like that. It's super awesome. But that is really it, my friends. Hopefully that this last update brings in so many more awesome mods. I'm already working on a two-toed sloth with Gaboy and Inaki, just trying to get that to work. Hopefully that'll be out relatively soon. Inaki and I have both been extremely busy, so it's just really trying to find the time to uh, sit down together and kind of pump that stuff out. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm looking at this man standing in this tree right now. And I'm just fearing for his life right now. So uh, I'm going to go just like watch this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have the most wonderful, wonderful days. Be sure to subscribe if you have not already. And hit that little bell icon. You know what? I feel like I've never said that before. But this is now your chance. Hit that little bell icon. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. See you all in the next video. Take care and bye bye